you have learned how to calculate the hcf of two or more terms in order to calculate the hcf you find the hcf of the numerical part of the terms and the hcf of the algebraic part of the terms and then multiply them then you get the hcf of those terms similar is the case with lcm in order to calculate the lcm of two or more terms you need to find the lcm of the numerical part of those terms and the lcm of the algebraic part of those terms and then you need to multiply those so when you had to calculate the hcf of 30 eq b square c and 24 a square b cube you first found the hcf of 30 and 24 it was 6 then you found the hcf of the algebraic part so we consider the common variables and take the lowest power of the variables a square b square we don't take c because c does not appear in both the terms so the hcf of a cube b square c and a square b cube is a square b square so the hcf of these two terms is 6 into a square b square which is 6 a square b square so this is how you calculate the hcf of two or more terms now calculate the lcm of these two terms so first we calculate the lcm of the numerical part we have learned how to do it 30 24 we factorize them 2 15 12 2 into 15 is 30 2 into 12 is 24 now 3 is a common factor so we write 3 5 4 because 5 3 into 5 is 15 3 into 4 is 12 now we cannot factorize them further because there is no common factor so 2 into 3 into 5 into 4 gives the lcm of 30 and 24 this is equal to 2 into 3 is 6 6 into 5 is 30 30 into 4 is 120 so the lcm of 30 and 24 is 120 now we need to calculate the lcm of the algebraic part how do we do it we consider all the variables and take the highest powers of the variables so we consider a we take a cube because a cube is the highest power of a we consider b and take b cube because b cube is the highest power of b we consider c and take c because we do not have a c here so we take the highest power of variables note that in case of lcm we also take the variables which are not present in all the terms in hcf we only take the variables which are present in all the terms that is in this case a and b and take the lowest power that is this and this whereas in lcm we take all the variables and consider their highest power so the lcm of the algebraic part is a cube b cube c this is the lcm of algebraic part a cube b cube c so what will be the lcm of this ex these two terms 120 into a cube b cube c 120 a cube b cube c is the lcm of these two terms so this is how we calculate the lcm of two or more terms now can you find the lcm of these two terms in order to find the lcm of these two terms we consider the numerical parts of these terms first so 3 and 5 what is the lcm of 3 and 5 lcm of 3 and 5 is equal to 3 into 5 because they do not have a common factor which is 15 
So this is the LCM of 3 and 5. Now we consider the algebraic parts. So first term has x to the power 5, y cube and z. Second term has x to the power 4, y to the power 6 and z to the power 5. Now look at x and take the highest power of x which is this. Consider y and take the highest power of y which is this. Consider z and take the highest power which is z to the power 5. So the LCM of the algebraic part is x to the power 5, y to the power 6 and z to the power 5. This is the LCM of algebraic part. So the LCM of these two terms is given by 15 into this which is 15 x to the power 5 y to the power 6 z to the power 5 so this is the answer so this is the lcm of these two terms now find the lcm of this expression and this expression we have learned how to find the HCF of two or more expressions. So we can find the LCM of expressions as well. Now in order to find the LCM of expressions, we first need to write these two expressions in terms of their irreducible factors. So let's do that. 2x square plus 8x plus 6. This is equal to, we need to factorize this because in order to write it in terms of its irreducible factors, we have to factorize it. So 2 is a common factor. So let us factor out 2. We have x square plus 4x plus 3 left. Now we can factorize it by splitting the middle term. 3 is equal to 1 into 3, 1 plus 3 gives us 4, so 4 is equal to 1 plus 3, so we can write it as 2 into x square plus x plus 3x plus 3, we have taken 4 equal to 1 plus 3, so 4x can be written as x plus 3x and now factorize by grouping x into x plus 1 plus 3 into x plus 1. This is what we have. We can write it as 2 into x plus 1 into x plus 3. So this is the factorized form of this expression. We can write it as 2 into x plus 1 into x plus 3. Now, let us factorize this. So, we have 3x square plus 6x plus 3. 3 is a common factor of all the terms. So, we can factor out 3. We get x square plus 2x plus 1. This is what we have. Now, this is x whole square. This is 1 whole square. This is 2 into x into 1. So this is in the form of a plus b whole square. So we can write it as 3 into x plus 1 whole square. x plus 1 whole square is x square plus 2 into x into 1 is 2x plus 1 square which is 1. So this is the factorized form of this expression. So we have these two expressions in the factorized form here. Now we need to find the LCM of these two. So we consider the numeric part first. So the LCM of 2 and 3. What is the common factor of 2 and 3? 1. So there is no common factor of 2 and 3 apart from 1. So the LCM is given by 2 into 3 which is 6. 
Now let us find the LCM of the algebraic part. So we have x plus 1 and x plus 3 here. x plus 1, x plus 3. We have x plus 1 whole square here. So we write x plus 1 whole square. Now we consider each part and take their highest power. So for x plus 1, the highest power is x plus 1 whole square. For x plus 3, this is the term with the highest power. So x plus 3 and x plus 1 whole square. So the LCM of the algebraic part is given by x plus 1 whole square into x plus 3. So the LCM of these two expressions will be the product of this and this. So it will be 6 into this. So this is the LCM of these two expressions. So in order to find the LCM of two or more expressions, we need to factorize them and then find the LCM.